Doing the talking. Okay, I'll be the backup muscle. That's why I got a gun. Okay, cool. Then Fiona, you're a bad cop, and I'll be good cop. Yeah, okay. I can do that. Answers and we want some questions. So you listen, buddy. You make sure to answer. All right, spit it out. Who are you? A truth seeker. Enough of the haiku bullshit. You give us straight answers when we ask you a question. You're supposed to be good, cop. Are you sure? Or else one of us, just slightly unclear which one... I saw people wearing those suits on the base. That means you were on Helios. Or at least around the crash site. Look, you obviously know us. You wouldn't be doing this if you didn't. So just... no more games. I do know you. Better now than I ever have. I was there. I was there when Gordas was destroyed. I saw the betrayal. I saw it, but I could not believe it. for only one thing after giving so much I had sacrificed everything for my friends only to be betrayed you asked earlier who I am the answer is simple I am your friend Bye. Yeah, hi. Uh, I have a lot of questions. <laughs> you and me both. Hey. Gordas... Gordas was my friend, too. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to believe that, too. How is this even possible? I mean... How are you even standing here right now? I went back to Helios. I needed to survive. To find you. To learn the truth. But why the disguise? I mean, why the secrecy? Huh? Why, why not just tell us? I was afraid if you knew who I was, you would lie about what happened. It is in your nature to lie. He's got a point there. Right, Hyperion guy, con artist. It checks out. I really am sorry about Gordas. I didn't have a choice. I know that now. I am sorry for not trusting you. Please forgive me. Oh, come on. How can you be mad at that face? <laughs> that is a face, right? I'm sorry, too. No need. You have your reasons. Okay, so obviously I'm excited to see Loaderbot 2. But it doesn't explain why you got us all together. I mean, I assume that's why you had me captured by that Kroger guy? Yes. Follow me. I brought...
brought you together to help me assemble Gordas and summon the Vault of the Traveler. Whoa. Yeah. Heavy. Have you forgotten about the Vault Monster that nearly killed us? This time, it will be different. How? We will all be there to fight it. With some friends. We were unprepared. Weak. That won't be the case this time. That's not much of a plan. Not that I'm saying no. I have faith. We can find a way. Why are we still talking about it? I'm in. Let's do it. For Gordas. And as a bonus, the treasure in that vault. Well, the endless riches is what usually motivates people. Whatever help the children of Helios can provide is at your service. Thank you. I don't have an army of former Hyperion weirdos. But I owe you my life. Killing the Vault Monster is the only way to ensure that Gortus can live in peace. The only way to save her. So, you, me, LB, Bond's on board. Hell yeah, he is. I can get Sasha here. Oh, uh, so she's, uh... How many more we need? Vault Hunter teams are most effective in groups of four. Two teams would optimize our chances of success. Okay, so we need three more members. Loaderbot, any suggestions? It's all you. Okay, no pressure. Just give me a second to think. Who's stopping you? I'm a visual thinker. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I, I know the words that you just said, but not together like that. She achieves clarity through visualization. Oh, oh, okay, well, you know, why didn't you just say that? I suppose there's always August. This is gonna be interesting.
Thank you for coming. Sure. I'm mostly here for the loot. Weddings are expensive. So I've heard. I told you we can keep it modest. The napkin holders you picked up are more than modest. Well, those I have to have. This is all really exciting. I don't usually get invited to missions like this. You'll see. They can be a grind sometimes. Well, I'm still excited. I, uh... Sorry about your mom. She was aggressively unique. A unique woman. One of a kind. Thought you said Sasha'd be here. <sighs> Relax, she will be. We'll catch her up when she gets here. All right. So, in order to access the mysterious treasures of the vault... Ahem. ...and assure the safety of Gordis, we gotta destroy the monster that protects us. This is the Traveler. That's the biggest vault monster I've ever come across. Oh yeah, it's big. It's nasty. It's gotta go. Any plan that kills that ugly bastard is fine by me. Well, you're in luck then. To make matters more fun and complicated, it teleports. Yay! Hence the whole traveler thing. How do we deal with its teleportation? What little information we were able to gather seems to point to a gland tucked in its giant tummy there as the source for its teleportation abilities. Which is why you and Sasha need to get inside it. When the Traveler teleports, there's a swirl of energy at the point where it's going to jump to. You just have to time it so that when you get the caravan... The caravan? Yeah, that's what I said. It flies now, remember? You just got to time it so that you're inside the energy thing when the monster shows up. Once you're in, you wire up the gland, weird to keep calling it that, with explosives. Trigger the remote detonator and get the heck out of there. So what's everyone else's role? Good question. The B team, that's you guys, you're saddled with the unenviable task of drawing the monster over to this area. You get the monster toward the vicinity of this ledge. It tries to jump into range. The caravan flies into the energy swirly thing before it jumps. So <laughs> where do I fit into all of this? You, sir, are our motivational speaker. After the teleportation is offline, we need Gordas to wrestle the Traveler into place for the Moonbeam. And that's going to require some convincing. And that's what you and Loderbot are in charge of. Well, I guess... I guess this is what we're doing. Well, sounds good to me. At least, what I heard of it. I... I thought you were dead. 